Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bryn. Today I have a really interesting video. So recently I uploaded a video uh, that was my top 10 favorite Bath & Body Works candles of all time. And today I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 least favorite candles of all time. Now, just because they are not my favorite doesn't mean you guys won't love them. In fact, I have a couple of controversial um, candles on this list, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so if I don't like these candles, it doesn't mean you guys won't love them. No shade, no hate on these candles. They just personally, to me, I just don't jive with them. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to get right into it. Um, I switched up my location here. I'm not in front of my fireplace anymore. I'm in front of my lovely candle shelf. And uh, just ignore back here. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started on my top 10 least favorite Bath & Body Works candles ever. So, we're going to start it off with number 10. And you guys are probably going to be shocked because this is probably their number one seller, but it is Champagne Toast. Yes. So when they first came out with Champagne Toast, I remember actually really liking this candle. Um, you could really smell like the effervescent scent in there. It was fruity. It was bubbly. It was... A really good scent to me um, however recently I tried it again I kind of forgot about that scent you know they have so many new ones coming out that I just forgot about that one so recently I decided hey I'm gonna give it another try and I just don't like it <laughs> it is I could not smell that effervescence note all I smelt was like orange juice or like yeah, it just smelled like orange juice to me. Like no bubbly, no fruity, just plain old juice. So I, that's why, that's number 10. I just, I it's boring to me. I don't like it. So, okay. So moving on, number nine. This is another really popular one and it was, it is Banana Walnut Muffin. Um... I honestly hated that candle, you guys. That one, first of all, I did not smell banana. I, for frankly, I did not smell uh, muffin either. Like, I didn't smell any bakery. All I got from it was like toasted burnt walnut. Like, that's it. I didn't get anything else. Um, and it was super light too, so I would have to skip out on banana walnut muffin. Um, number eight, and I actually have it here. Um, this is the first time I've ever burnt this candle this year. I've smelled it before and I just didn't like it, but this year I decided to actually burn it and I don't like it, you guys. And it is Merry Mimosa. So I burnt about two thirds of it. Here it is here. This one is Sparkling champagne, red apple slices, iced sugar crystals. And this, to me, this smells like um, a tree scent mixed with like a drink. Like a fruity drink. It does not go together, in my opinion. It's just a really weird scent that just doesn't work for me. So, Mary Mimosa did not like this one. Um, okay, you guys, the sun is going down, so we need to get through these videos while I still have lighting, okay? Um, number, that was number eight, so number seven, this is another controversial scent because this is another one of their, like, signature candle scents, but I just don't like it, and that is Mahogany Teakwood. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the intense version. I don't really, there's not a whole lot of difference between the intense and the regular one, but 
Um, maybe it's just too intense for me. <laughs> um, this one is, it says an intense version of her classic home fragrance with notes of rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oat, and frosted lavender. Um, something about the teakwood is very sharp, very harsh, and I just, I, I don't like it. It's, it's too harsh for me. Maybe the lavender, maybe that's why, but did it say lavender? Yeah, frosted lavender. So, mahogany teakwood, not a fan. <laughs> uh, then moving on, number six. Okay, we're going to take it back old school, you guys. And I don't, I think they have this in a candle, um, but I'm specifically just talking about like the scent in general. I really don't like this scent. And it is one of their popular ones. It's not really popular anymore, but warm vanilla sugar. That scent to me, it does not smell like vanilla at all. To me, it smells like straight up cardboard. I get cardboard all the way. There's no vanilla. There's no sugar. I smell cardboard. <laughs> I don't know if it's because like it's their old like formula and they just need to update it or what but that scent I don't know I should smell it again because I haven't smelled it in a long time and it's kind of hard to find they only have like a few items in this scent now but never been a fan always hated it uh oh and these are in order by the way didn't I did I specify that from like least offensive to like offensive you know what I mean Okay, so that was number six. So number five, and this is, again, this is another popular one, but it is Pink Fairy Gumdrop. I do not like that scent. Um, to me, it smells like straight up baby powder. I get baby powder, like a sweet baby powder. I don't understand that scent. It's really, really sweet, and then you get that that whiff of the baby powder, I just, I can't do that candle. So, that was number five. Number four, and I have it here, it's a really old one. This is probably their like, top most popular scent, but I hate it. <laughs> and it is Winter Candy Apple. You guys are probably like freaking out because it, you guys probably love this scent, I don't know. Winter Candy Apple, this is, this is a really old one too because I bought it for like a gift I think and never gave it to the person and I cannot bring myself to burn this because I just do not like this scent. Um, this one is candied apple, crisp pear, and oranges and this smells like straight old lady. Old lady if she like doused herself in like apple perfume, old lady. I don't get it. Why do you want to smell an old lady apple? I don't. <laughs> you guys, I'm being too harsh with these scents, but you guys probably love them. I don't know. They just, I do not. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, moving on from number four, we have number three, which is another popular one, and it's Frosted Cranberry. Now, I'm just going to say anything cranberry for that matter. I The cranberry scent that they put in their candles, to me, it smells like, um, um, like it's awful. It's old lady. I get old lady. I don't know what it is about the cranberry or the pear or whatever it is, but I just smell an old lady. And frosted cranberry smells like holiday old lady perfume to me just gonna say it um now we have the top two which are the most offensive disgusting candles I've ever smelled <laughs> um and I have one of them here no at number two we have pumpkin cookie dough guys this was a massive fail in my opinion um, homemade cookie dough, creamy pumpkin, cinnamon sugar, and, um, 
To me, this just smells like rotten milk. I didn't burn it because I just, I don't care for the scent. Maybe it's delicious when it's burning, but to me, straight up rotten milk is what I smell in this candle. Not a fan. Okay. Now, the number one, drum roll please, candle that I hate and what is it? Harvest Gathering. This is the, okay, this candle, when I first smelled Harvest Gathering, I almost like, it was bad. Uh, Harvest Gathering to me, this is probably another popular one, but to me it smells like if you mixed old lady perfume again I think it's the the uh, cranberry in it if you mixed old lady perfume with like vomit that's what it smells like to me old lady perfume mixed with vomit <laughs> so there you have it my top 10 and just so you you guys know I typically love Bath and Body Works candles even if I don't love it I'm like eh, it's okay and I will still buy it so, um, these t 10 candles are like, I mean, some of them aren't even that bad. Like, champagne toast, it's just eh, you know? Um, and there's just, there's gonna be scents that people don't like, and there's gonna be scents that people love. Um, and these ones, I just happen to not like. So, nothing against the brand. They put out amazing, amazing things. Um, so, these just or just ones that I really don't care for. Um, but I'm interested to hear what which candles you guys really don't like. So leave a comment. And then don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more Bath & Body Works um, videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.